Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to study the question Bank of Karnataka 1st PUC Computer Science Chapter 16 Spreadsheet. Question number 1. Define an electronic spreadsheet. Answer. An electronic spreadsheet is an application software and the spreadsheet is divided into rows and columns to store items like students, marks, stocks, income and expenses, debits and credits. Next question. Define a workbook. Answer. A workbook is a set of electronic spreadsheet. Define a cell. Answer. The intersection of a row and a column in a spreadsheet is called a cell. What is the cell address? Answer. A cell address is a unique ID given to a cell represented by column name and row name. What is an active cell? Answer. The cell that is currently open and ready for editing is called the active cell. What is cell pointer? Answer. Cell pointer is a rectangular box that appears in the worksheet and is used to make an entry in a particular cell. What is the default extension name for an Excel file? Answer. The default extension name of an Excel file is star xls or star dot xlsx. What is the size of a worksheet? Answer. There are 256 columns and 65,536 rows in a worksheet. What is the number of columns and rows present in the Excel 2007 worksheet? Answer. There are 16,384 columns and 1,48,576 rows in a worksheet in the latest Excel software. What is the use of a formula in a worksheet? Answer. A formula is an expression or cell entry that performs some sort of a calculation. An equal sign is always the first part of a formula followed by an expression that calculates a value. What is a label cell? Answer. A label cell is a cell that contains alphabets, numbers and symbols. What is a value cell? Answer. A, ce a cell that contains numbers with or without a plus or minus symbol is called a value cell. Define a formula cell. Answer. A cell that starts with the is equal to symbol and a value or cell address with a mathematical expression is called a formula cell. What is the use of the autofill option? Answer. The autofill option can be used to insert a series of values in a range of cells easily. What is the use of auto format option? Answer. The auto format option allows to select predefined formatting option. How is a formula entered in a spreadsheet? Answer. A formula is entered by beginning it with the is equal to symbol. For example, is equal to a plus plus a1 plus a2. What is a sum? What is the use of sum function? Answer. The sum function is used to compute addition of a range of cell values. What is a filter in the worksheet? Answer. A filter is an option that allows to display only the data of user is choice by hiding other data. Define a chart. Answer. A chart is a pictorial representation of some data. Name any two types of chart. Answer. Bar graph and pie chart are the two types of chart. Give the shortcut keys to select the entire worksheet. Answer the shortcut keys to select entire worksheet is control plus Z. What is a macro answer? A macro is a series of instructions which can be issued only a, using a single command. How is data sorted? Answer data can be sorted in both in rows or columns either in an ascending or in a descending order. Next is two or three marks question answers. What are the purposes of spreadsheet? Answer. Spreadsheet make it easy to display information and formulas can be inserted to work with the data. Information can also be sorted and filtered. Data can be used by create chart. Write the different spreadsheet software. Answer. The different spreadsheet software are IBM Lotus 123 for Windows and Apple Works and Numbers for Mac OS X. What are the different applications of the spreadsheet? Answer. They are used in accounting to prepare balance sheet, auditing, etc. They are organizations where data can be represented using charts and graphs. They are used for statistical calculation. 
Next question, write any two file menu options answer. The new option is used to create a new workbook and open option is used to open the saved worksheet. What is the difference between save and save as app option? Answer, the save option saves the file under the current file name given by the user and save as option allows for change in the file name and location saves the file. What are the uses of page setup option in a spreadsheet? Answer, the page setup can be used to set the margins, page size and orientation of the page of the worksheet. What is print preview and how is this useful to the user? Answer, the print preview shows the content of a spreadsheet in a printable view. It helps save lots of paper as the user can see the actual print as a preview, avoiding mistakes and reprints before it is actually printed. What is the use of a print option? Answer, the print option can be used to set the number of copies to be printed, selection of printer pages and any selected passage. <laughs> Write any three options present in the edit menu. Answer, cut, copy, paste, find and replace are the few options present in the edit menu. Write any three options present in the view menu. Answer the normal view, page break preview, full screen view and enable or disable formula bar and status bar etc. are the option present in the view menu. What are the three options of the insert menu? Answer the insert menu contain inserting cells, charts, rows, columns, clip arts, diagrams etc. as option. Write the options under the format menu. Answer the formatting of cells, modification of row height and column width, auto format, style etc. are the option present under the format menu. Name the different options present in the tools menu. Answer spellings, error checking, goal seek and macro autocorrect options are a few options of tools menu. What are the different options present in data menu? Answer, the, the different options of data menu are sort, filter, validation, subtotal and pivot table option. Write any three mathematical functions. Answer, the sum, the product and the power functions are the three mathematical functions. Write any three statistical function. Answer, the average, max and minimum function are the three statistical function. Write any three date and time function. Answer the now, today and year functions are a few date and time function. Write any three financial function. Answer the PMT, FV and NPER are three financial functions. Write any three logical functions. Answer the AND, IF, OR are the three logical functions. Write any three text functions. Answer the con concatenate IN and TRIM are the three text function. What is a data form? Answer, a data form is a convenient way to enter or display one complete row of information in a table without scrolling horizontally and makes data entry easier. Mention the steps to add rows and columns in a worksheet. Answer, the steps to add rows, click on the row at the left extreme cell and on the insert menu, insert a row. The steps to add columns, click on column, insert columns. Explain the steps used to change the row size and columns width in a worksheet. Answer, select cell, a format, a row height, a height in numbers. Select cell, a format, a column width, a width in number. Explain the steps of using the auto format option. Answer. The steps of using the auto format options are follows. Government format, a auto format, a select the range of cells, a select the format from the list. Name the different categories of charts. Answer. The different categories of charts are column, line, pie, bar, xy, scattered, etc. Give the steps to insert a chart in a worksheet. Answer. The steps to insert chart in is a select range of cells, insert a chart, a chart type. Next is 5 marks question answers. 
write a short note on the spreadsheet answer a spreadsheet is a document which is divided into rows and columns to record such things as items in inventory income and expenses debits and credits etc in a spreadsheet the column is defined as the vertical space letters are used to name each columns location and the row is the horizontal space numbers are used to assign each rows location in a spreadsheet the cell is the space where a specified row and column intersect each cell is assigned a name according to its column letter and row number example c3 is cell in column c row 3 next question explain different parts of an excel worksheet here is a diagram title bar this displays the name of the program and the spreadsheet file name a cell is created at the intersection of a row and a column active cell the cell that is currently open and ready for ed editing is called the active cell the cell reference identifies the exact location of a current active cell in the figure above the active cell is a1 the formula bar displays the contents of the active cell including any formulas as user enters or edits data the changes will appear in the formula bar Columns are labeled along their column heading A through Z, AA through AZ up to column 4. Rows are labeled by the rows heading from 1 through to 65,536. The name box displays the active cell reference. The pointer indicates the current location of your mouse, mouse pointer. Each worksheet in the workbook is comprised of sheet tabs which displays the sheet name. <laughs> Next question. Explain the uses of spreadsheets. Answer the uses of spreadsheet are as follows performing basic mathematical operations such as adding column and rows of figures, finding values such as profit or loss, calculating repayment plans for loans or mortgages, finding the average maximum or minimum value in a specified range of data, graphing or charting data to assist users in identifying data trends, sorting and filtering data to find specific information creation of simple list and tables of alphabetic and numerical data creation and manipulation of simple databases establish relationships between sets of numerical data applies arithmetical mathematical or statistical functions to numerical data sets represent data sets in graphical or chart form Next, explain in detail the different types of cell entries and range of values that can be used in a worksheet. Data is information that is stored in a spreadsheet program. Data is stored in the individual cells of a worksheet. Only one piece of data is stored in each cell. In addition to being stored in a spreadsheet, the data can be used in calculations, displayed in graphs or sorted and filtered to find specific information. There are three types of data in ex ex data in excel values labels formulas and dates and times value cell entry a cell that contains numbers with or without a plus or minus symbols is called a value cell these cells can be used in mathematical calculation for example marks age salary etc label cell entry a cell that contains a to z alphabets numbers and symbols is called label cell for example place name employee code etc formula cell entry a cell where the cell entry begins with a is equal to and a formula appendant to calculate something is called a formula cell entry for example is equal to a 10 plus 25 cell range a range is a series of two or more cells if they are adjoining they are called as adjacent range on contiguous if they are non contiguous they are called as non adjacent range a range is identified by the cell references of the cells in the upper left and lower right corners of the range these two references are separated by a colon which tells excel to include all the cells between these start and end points an example of a range of adjacent cell would be b5 colon d10 to select an adjacent range, click on a cell in a corner of your selection and drag the mouse over the remaining cells. For example, A1 through D6, D8 through E9 and B14 through D15 are returned as A1 colon D6 or D8 colon E9 or B14 colon D15. 
to select a non adjacent range first select an adjacent range of cells now press and hold down the control key while you select another adjacent range of cells release the mouse button and the control key the adjacent ranges can be combined into a variety of different non adjacent ranges for example one adjacent range is a1 through d6 and d8 through e9 is written as a1 colon d6 d8 colon e9 write a short note on short note on the formatting toolbar answer it is a toolbar that has the icons that provide the various formatting settings for cells columns rows and data in excel for example it can allow you to change the colors of rows cells and columns it allows you to change fonts it allows you to set the alignment for data in cells it allows you apply borders to cell it allows you to change the format of numbers like adjusting the amount of decimals they have or changing them to percentage format all of these and other things can be done with it first format cells dialog box for a complete list of formatting option right click on the highlighted cell and choose format cells from the shortcut menu or select format cells from the menu bar number tab the data type can be selected from the options on this tab general is to be selected if the cell contains text and numbers or a different numerical categories if the cell is a number that will be included in functions or formulas the number tab can be used to limit the number of decimal places alignment tab these options allow the user to change the position and alignment of a data within the cell for example right left central vertical alignments text trap etc font tab all of the font attributes are displayed in the tab including font face size style and effects for example bold italicize underline increase or decrease of the font size changing the color of font fill etc can be done border and pattern tabs these tabs allow the user to add borders shading and background colors to a cell explain the steps involved in drawing a chart in excel answer a chart is a pictorial representation of data the data is first entered in the worksheet in a table format the table shall contain a heading followed by the numerical values the steps in creating a chart are as follows data is entered in the cells of an excel spreadsheet mouse is used to highlight the block of cells containing data and then insert chart is clicked on when the chart wizard comes up column or bar graph and a subtype as clustered or stack type is chosen as per requirement if the user wants to switch what appears on the x and y axis right clicking on the bar graph then on select data and finally on switch row or column labels and legends of the chart and be adjusted if needed user can on the bar graph and then click the layout tab here you can choose what layout you prefer for the chart title axis title and legend so this is all about your notes if you want the notes of other lessons kindly check the playlist of my channel thank you